Welcome to Start and Review. I am your co-host, Andre C. And to right over here to the right on the screen is my co-host, Melba. How you doing, Melba? I'm doing pretty good. Got a little Koji Boji Moji here cuddling up with us for another awesome episode of Start and Review here. Where we're taking on another... Another tournament, Andre. These <laughs> tournaments never freaking end. <laughs> no, because we got this one, and then we're going to get about a month's break, and then we'll have the New Japan Cup, and then we're going to have the Cinderella tournament right after that. Then we're going to have the Super Juniors, and then we're going to, or that's the Super Juniors, then it'll be the G1 and the Five Star Man. There's tournaments all year long in, bo in both Stardom and New Japan. It's crazy. I'm telling you, the Melball is going to be a professional editor and graphics designer by the end of this year. <laughs> I think you already are. You're not, I guess not professionals are being paid for it yet, but you know, <laughs> you're, you're, you're a great amateur one. I can say that for sure. But, <laughs> I, try, yeah. I try. So <laughs> we are here to talk the Triangle Derby. I, I'm not sure if this tournament's ever been put on before. I haven't really been. I don't know. I don't know. I have, I haven't really, I can't, I haven't really looked into the history of this, but it is a 2020 C try. It says, does say Triangle Derby one. So I guess it is the first tournament. I, I didn't even think about it, but yeah, maybe, maybe. but before, but before we get into the show, I want to ask you, please like, and subscribe on this video and let, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it very much if you did that. Uh, and also like, and subscribe to OLE podcasts on Twitch, uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and then also to Backbreaker Video, the other home for our, mm -hmm. our shows. Uh, thank you very much to Mike Thrift. Like and subscribe to all three channels. We much appreciate it because our content is showing up on all three. And yeah, we really appreciate that. Um, Links and also to all those will be in the description box below because Malball is perfectionistic. There you go. And I <laughs> also want to give a big shout out to Rogue Energy. Ooh, I got the wrong text going across the bottom. That's our uh, information. It's a good thing to have there. You need but, that too. <laughs> it's uh, RogueEnergy.com. Uh, OLE. Use the code code OLE Pots or 10% off your order. You can also scan the QR code down in the right hand corner just below Mel there. And uh, check them out. They're great supporters. It's been great to us. So please support them. They're absolutely phenomenal stuff. I don't have my rogue energy on me tonight because I forgot it upstairs before I came down to record this. So just got a bot just got a half bottle of water. But <laughs> yeah, so please support rogue energy if, if you can. And we are going to get into the triangle derby. Stardom's first ever, I'm guessing first ever trios tournament. Uh, and we're gonna quickly go through the teams before we get into the actual first thing because we're only going to come in january 3rd show because as of recording this on january 9th that's the only show one available in stardom world and i'm not spending 40 dollars per show <laughs> <laughs> i'm not I, I don't get paid for this yet <laughs> oh, maybe one day maybe one day so we'll start out with the first team in in, in the tournament Ooh, got the wrong paperwork up there it is uh we have h and m the team of mayu Ibutani, momo kogo and hanan mayu Ibutani, momo kogo actually coming off being a tag team in the stardom grand prix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we have second like team is queen's quest utami hayashishida azumi and sayaka again another team of uh, atami and saya coming out of the out of the the goddess there's a lot of teams that came through this but there's some that broke up like, mm -hmm. I, I, and we get another one. Cosmic Angels, Tam Nakano, Natsupoi, and Saki joining them here in the Triangle Derby. Mm -hmm. And we have the team of the Bari Bari Bombers, uh, Julia, Thekla, and Mai Sakurai from Donna Del Mundo. And then we've got Unique Glare from 08 Otai. You have Starlight Kid, um, <clears throat> Ruaka, and from, uh, was it Di Prince, uh, Star Diana. Diana, Diana promotion. You have, uh, you, uh, sorry, uh, Hanuka Um Umasaki, who mm -hmm. was the one who challenged um Saikamatani at the Dream yeah. Queendom show. Highly recommend the match, it was a really good match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very tired at that point of the night, but it was a very good match. <laughs> and then you have the I think probably the best name in this tournament. Oh, I wanted to make a question the Bari Bari Bombers, their name, their, the Bari Bari means furious max power. And after being blown up in that casket match, they're the Bari Bari Bombers because they're back back at max power. <laughs> <laughs> but this team right here has my most favorite name in this tournament: Power Passion Pineapple. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I I, I, I on my site is something else. 
yeah, I it was I it, Power Passion Pineapple, and I was like, that is awesome. I pulled I I pulled these names from postwrestling.com. Thank you very much to John Pollock and the team over there giving me all this information. Um, but I love that team name, Power Passion. And it's Nane Takahashi, you and Yuna Mizu, Mizumoni. And then the first thing to see all of the like fruits and vegetables popping up on people because she's not the only one who has a fruit in her name. <laughs> and then the final team in the uh, red triangle block, it's Club Venus, who didn't get their own proper card put out on social media. So I grabbed a picture of them. It's Mina Shirakawa, Cy Brookside, and Mariah May. They are the brand new team uh, put in, uh, that were put together very recently at Stardom Tree and Queendom. Mm-hmm. And then in the blue triangle block, you have Arebono GE, the team of Siri, Mariah, and Amy Saray, and I got to think Arebono or Arenbono means wild, rowdy, and rough. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense for that team. It really does. <laughs> uh, which one do you think is rowdy? Um, I'm going to say Mariah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's- Okay, ru- I, I'm, rough, going, I'm going to. Ru- rough is Siri disagree, and wild okay. is Amy. <laughs> I'm just going to go for, okay, maybe Mariah is the wild one and Amy's the rough one, but you, or, or the rowdy one, because Siri is definitely the rough one, because those kicks are brutal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's about yeah. the only name that makes sense to all of them. Yeah. yeah. And then you had the team of classmates, which is Hazuki, Saida, and Koguma. And this team name comes from. Uh, this team name means classmates or persons born from April 2nd to the following April 1st in the year they were born from 97 to 98. That is the explanation that was given and that post wrestling transcribed onto their, their posts that I copied this from. So it's unnecessarily confusing. They're just all within the same school year is what it is. So they're, graduation year or I, born that, year. I'm that's the more simplified they were born, version of it. The, for when they were born. That's just in the same year span of when they were born. It's just a weird year span of April 2nd to the following April 1st. It's very weird. <laughs> and then yeah, you have... That's very odd, yeah. And the next team is My Hemi with C. <laughs> that's the simplest name you can pick for that team. Micah, Hemica, and Lady C. I, I've... Very much from uh, Donald Mundo. I very much like that team name. Just mm-hmm. simple, easy, perfect. Mm-hmm. And then you have the team of Lollipop, Wakasiak. Waka ah, I can never say her name Skiyama. right. Waka Skiyama, Rita Am- Amikura, and Yuko Sakurai. <laughs> Again. And, um, I think I- it was um, um, Rina Amikura who actually had the carrot on her gear. Another fruit and vegetable. Because Rena's the one on the left, right? Or is she the one? On the I right? think that's Yuko. Yuko Sakurai ah. is the one in the blue, and I believe Rena. Yeah, the, the one on the left there Kora. is is Rena, right? Yeah, the girl in yeah, orange. So the girl yeah. with the orange. Yeah, she <laughs> had a carrot. I'm getting used to these girls because I'm not. I haven't really seen much of these two. So mm-hmm. yeah. And then we have the team of uh, already named prominence is Suzu Suzuki, Risa Sarah, and Kurumi. Uh, sorry, Kurumi Hiragi. I can get that mm-hmm. tongue tied on that one. And then you have the simply named team of Oedo Tai, Momo Watanabe, mm-hmm. Natsuki Tora, and Saki Kashima. And finally, an interesting name in Rebel X Enemy, Ram Kai Chow. Yeah, they have the random X in there, but during the show, all they were saying was Rebel Enemy. I'm going with Ram- Rebel X Enemy because that's how it looks on paper. And that's how it's spelt on paper. Uh, okay, or I guess well, Re- I'm, I'm Re- going how it's announced by the announcer, and that's Rebel okay. Enemy. Rebel <laughs> Enemy. Um, <laughs> and Ram, Kai- uh, Ram Kai Chow also referred to them in her promo after their first match, which we will discuss also. That was oh, what yeah. they were called. And then Micah Ozaki and Maya Yukihi. Maya. That one was a hard one, yeah. Yeah. I just went with Maya and all my notes for her. I don't think I have much. I don't have her written much in my notes. I might have written, wrote Mike in there a bunch of times, too, when I met Maya. But that's very possible. Mm. <laughs> Boom, it's back. There we go. <laughs> it's a seamless transition. Like nothing ever happened. Come on. 
And we start off the first night, January 3rd. We have the first match of the, I guess the second match of the evening. We're not going to go over. There was a pre-show match, but <laughs> neither of us really cared for it. Uh, it is the team of the Lollipop, Arena Amakura, uh, Wakasukiyama, and Yuko Sakurai taking on the team of Club Venus, Mariah May, Mina Shirakawa, and Zaya Brookside. I, I had a great time. This is I there's three matches on the show I really got into. Um, this is one of them. Uh, there's a, it's a good fun. It's just a, I'm a big fan of Zaya Brookside and Mina Shirakawa. Uh, a lot of people know that because I've been talking Mina Shirakawa forever on this show. And uh, yeah, I'm just better. I've been watching Zaya Brookside with NXT UK and other things there. It's very, very good. Um, kind of more of a simpler match in this one. Um, Mariah getting a really br- great springboard drop kick followed by their tornado DDT. And it just, just kind of very smooth. She looks really good in there. Again, her and Zaya are both 24, still pretty young and, and still pretty young in the careers. Again, Zaya grew up in the business. Again, trained mm-hmm. in stardom, in, I think 2017 for a little while. Um, but yeah, um, very, very good batch. Um, there is a triple piggyback splash. Um from from uh, Team Lollipop, I thought that was mm-hmm. that was absolutely f- hilarious to watch and do the the like uh, just all pile on each other and just fall on Zaya Brookside, um, and then uh, walking out is beautiful. The Liv Morgan flatliner out of the ropes and a straight jacket sit out like X reverse X factor almost, but yeah. Uh, at the end of the match came uh, Zaya uh, Zaya Brookside gets the roundhouse. And an and, and or he's a roundhouse and Seguri by Mina Shirakawa. And then uh Zaya flips like whips. I can't remember who it was off the top. I didn't Waka. read it down because Waka it was a Waka, yeah. She whips Waka off the top rope and then gets her with the Euro clutch and gets the win. Mm-hmm. I, I thought great a great o- opening tournament match. Uh both teams, especially for like Mariah May, Zaya Brookside, and the team of Lollipop, which I'm fairly sure the three of them are all younger in their careers too mm-hmm. um especially it, those three getting to shine here plus zaya and mariah getting to to really show what they can do here in stardom because they haven't been this is their first match in the company mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um so with this one um you took the big moves that i that i had noted so i can just talk about what i uh what i thought about the ladies in this i felt mina in particular um ha- came into this match with a little something to prove mm-hmm. um she was very very vicious i didn't feel any more vicious with waka than the other members but i did feel that she was particularly vicious in this um match again maybe something um a little to, to prove just forming club venus really wanting to come out um on top and with a win um I, I did feel, however, that there was a bit of an awkward start at this match at the beginning um, between Mariah May and Waka. Um, I don't know if it I, yeah, was just that Waka I did note did, that. It looked a little weird. I don't know if it's just that Waka is a child and doesn't know how to interact with uh, um, a 24-year-old when they get in your face. But um, it, it was definitely um, more of a... Um, a situation as opposed to a... Mm, situation for me um i found that a little awkward um again i just felt that it kind of spoke to the innocence of um waka and and what we've been kind of saying for the last little bit she is you know just coming into the the business still and still kind of finding her feet um i felt that brookside was very very effective in this entire match i almost kind of felt like um mariah was kind of like the "Ah, i'm not sure what's going on here and Mina was the like Leroy Jenkins and like Zaya Brooke was kind of that okay I'm going to be Mr. Elastic in the middle here I'm going to pull this one back here I'm going to pull this one back here we're going to have a good match we're going to be good and like I felt that the overall dynamic of the team as a result was actually very fun and very enjoyable and entertaining to watch um I felt that May, uh, Mariah May, her her moves are actually pretty flashy. I, I do enjoy um, the styling that she has, though. Um, and I do find her gear and her mannerisms to be very appropriate and very fun um, to watch. Um, other than that, I didn't have a whole ton to say about the, the Colors Girls um, other than that splash. I did feel um, that, uh, what was her name? Yuko, Yuko Sakurai. Very, very good um, wrestler. Very comparable to Lady C for me. 
um, in, in styling and kind of uh, mannerism. So very fun match. Yeah. And you got to say like Zia Brookside is the most experienced person in this ring out of any of them. So I could see mm -hmm. why she would be the one to kind of be like, I'm just going to go do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. She did like her debut match was May 16th, 2015. This girl's 24 years old. I mean, she debuted when she was under 18 and you got to remember, mm -hmm. she grew up within the business. Her father is, 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 is English wrestling legend, Robbie Brookside. Um, one of uh, William, Re a person William Regal just fawns over if you ever listen to him talk about the guy. So she has a lot of experience. And so I, I yeah, it, you, you're perfectly right there. And her saying that she was just like, I'm just going to take going just just control this and i'm not I'm very not i'm really i'm really not surprised in that mm -hmm. yeah so 